What's up guys, I'm One Tech Traveller here and you're joining me in AMA number 3 where I answer your questions around my trip, travel, lifestyle and tech. This week I'm chilling here at Wonton Mean in Prince Edward, Hong Kong and I'm going to get started and answer the 5 questions that you guys have sent me this week on my phone. So let's get started. Question number 1 is the Google Pixel XL 2. What's new in 30 seconds? Wow, okay. So the latest Snapdragon 835 processors goes up to 128 gigabytes, has a much bigger six inch screen display at 18 by nine aspect ratio. It doesn't have any headphone jack anymore. And the unlimited storage you had on the Pixel is now only running until 2019. It has great camera and video quality, including the electronic image stabilization, and it still manages to be cheaper than the Apple iPhone 8 and the Samsung S8 Plus, 30 seconds. The second question is the most exciting action camera to watch in 2017. Now I've personally been very interested in the Insta360 one rather than increasing you know, the 4K resolution and the amount of frames per second that they can handle at higher quality, they've got some pretty exciting tricks up their sleeves and one of them is the bullet time. So you can record in up to 240 frames per second and it comes with an included cord or using your selfie stick you swing it around and it does a bullet time as everything moves in slow motion like in the matrix. It's made for some pretty cool effects and I'll send you the link of where you can watch some of the videos of it in action. The second part is the director mode. So in 360 when you're recording it, of course there's everything recording around you in real time. But what director mode allows you to do in the app is navigate and tell a story around the 360 journey and means that you can direct within a 360 environment easily through your mobile app. So pretty nifty, it's currently only available for iPhone when it launches, but they will be releasing an Android version soon, so hopefully I can get my hands on it. Third question, what equipment do you use for your photos and videos? So for me, I don't have the latest and greatest, but it works more than enough. So for my photography, I'm using my Sony A7 with its standard kit 24 to 70 millimeter lens. I also have the Sony G 90 millimeter uh, portrait lens, which is great for more macro detail. My pocket video and photo champion is the RX100 Mark III with the tilt screen and my Yi 4K Plus camera for those action sequences. When it comes to the rest of it, snapping stills and getting the balance of the two when I'm leisurely strolling around and find something that I like, then it is my Galaxy S8 Plus. Fourth question, iPhone X. Is it worth it in 30 seconds? You no longer have the fingerprint scanner on the front and you don't have it anywhere else at all. The big bet is actually on the face ID recognition. I've enjoyed using it on my S8 Plus, but it goes much further and they showcased it through an emoji, it's cool. But it has new sensors for cameras, improves the quality of that, including the image stabilization. You have the bezel-less display, which has been the trend. If you have any of the iPhone 6, 7, 8, then it's probably not gonna be worth the significant amount that you're gonna have to shell out. And then the final question is, your two favorite accessories to use while traveling? The first one is my Peak Design Capture Pro been really awesome in reducing my workflow and switching between my cameras or just stopping it away rather than fiddling putting it into my backpack so I've used it on my Peak Design Sling and my Peak Design Everyday Backpack. One, it makes people curious because you're hanging your mirrorless camera on your bag but to be honest it's been such a big difference with making my life easier when traveling that I really enjoy. And the second one is the side-by-side -side power packer which stores all of my wires and accessories that I would use for my gadgets. When you think about all the cables, memory cards, batteries and everything beyond your uh, gadgets and your backpack, you think how can you organize it? And for me, the Power Packer has been great at doing that. If you're wondering about the two, then feel free to check out my videos on YouTube and also my written pieces on OneTechTraveler.com where you can learn more about the Capture Pro and the Power Packer. And that's it. Thanks a lot for sending me your questions for this week's AMA number three. Do keep it coming by sending them in through Instagram direct message, my Facebook Messenger, or leave a comment down below on this week's YouTube, and I'll answer them in AMA number four. And of course, visit OneTechTraveler.com to explore inside travel, tech, and lifestyle. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome.